Ornaments make a killing on Etsy, but especially during Q4. You've probably seen a few videos about the stats of these. In fact, I even did one last year. So in today's video, we are going to be going into the research half of creating ornaments. And this is how to find high search, low competition ornaments that have room for you to succeed in as a new seller. We're also going to go over how to create designs that sell, how to create multiple different listings with a bunch of different keywords using just one design. We're going to be going over my favorite Printify ornaments because it's not exactly what you think, because I actually hate the number one ornament that is sold out there and it will get you bad reviews. So if you plan on selling ornaments, I highly recommend you watch all of this video. So to start off with our niche research, we're going to be starting in E-Rank. If you don't have E-Rank yet, I do have a link in my description where you can get a free seven day trial for the pro membership, which you'll probably need for this tutorial. But the first thing that we're going to be doing, since we know we want to sell ornaments, is we're actually going to just type ornament up in the search bar up here and we're going to hit search. And one thing first I absolutely love to see is this trend alert. This keyword has been popular on Etsy over the past week. If you do sell ornaments or you've been watching them, you can start to see that the uptick has already started. People are already increasingly searching for ornaments for this Christmas. But what we are going to do is on E-Rank, we are going to scroll down under these phrases here. And E-Rank has changed a bit in the last year and they now have different keyword matches. So there's default phrase, exact and broad. So default gives you related keywords. They might include the word ornament in there, but there's also going to be things in here that don't have the word ornament. This one seems to, but sometimes you're going to get some pretty funky results with that. Then we have phrase match. So if you had say Christmas ornament in here, it's only going to show you keywords that include both the word Christmas and ornament. Exact match means the word Christmas ornament need to be in that exact order for it to show up. Or we have broad, which shows you the terms that match at least one word. So it's gonna show you things that relate to Christmas or ornament. So the two that I find helpful, especially if you have two words, it's not as specific because we're just using one word here. So the order doesn't really matter, but phrase match or exact match, depending again on what you're looking for. And now we're going to start playing with the filters. So the first thing that I'm going to do is how I like to search is I like to search by Etsy competition. And I'm actually going to hit it again to go from lowest competition to highest. And I'm going to show you two different ways to do this, two different ways to do your research. One simpler, one's a little bit more complicated, but we'll get you some better data. So we're going to start with a quick way to do this first. And what you would do is you would start going and looking through the ones that have low competition. And again, we're sorting by competition. So that makes it easier, but they also have a decent amount of searches like this one here, Narnia, Godzilla, both though could cross into copyright because those are titles of movies and characters. So make sure to just stay away from any copyrighted things. At E-Rank, it does not filter these out. It's just collecting searches. So I'm going to keep going down. I'm not going to be doing bluey ornament. A possum ornament is an option here. We have 183 searches. I see this one here. Ultrasound ornament has a lot of searches and not a lot of competition. So if you find a way to create an ultrasound ornament, that could be a great option for this. But going through these, I'm starting to notice that I'm seeing a lot of dog breeds. There are tons and tons and tons of other options in here, but some of the least competitive ones are Yorkie, Schnauzer, Golden Doodle, and there was a few other ones I saw here. Beagle, we have Husky, and those can all be created and repurposed to make different listings with different keywords. Because a lot of people who have a Husky might be searching up a Husky ornament instead of a dog ornament. The problem with a lot of times is a lot of people who put up dog products don't niche down to the exact type of breed, but those breed owners are searching for that specific breed. And going through here, again, you're going to find so many of these options that have better search results than some of the really, really popular 
ornament niches that are out there that everyone tries for. And the quick other way that I'm gonna show you real quick is how to export and read this data as well. So you can export this as a CSV, open it in Google Sheets or Excel. And once that's open, we can create some filters to help us sort this data so that we can read it real quickly instead of having to go one by one through all of those listings on eRank. What we can do is we can go to data, we're going to create a filter. And for average searches, we're going to buy, be looking for searches that are greater than let's say 300 hit okay and then for competition let's say we are going to keep it less than 5,000 for now. And now I have quickly narrowed down a thousand rows to 15 and I can play with those numbers. I can lower the amount of searches per month. I can make it more tight. I can also increase the number of competition out there until you have a list of keywords that you can start trying in your shop. But if you want to also keep the competition high, another option for sorting this data is actually just to leave the Etsy competition open, have no filter on it, and then create a ratio. The ratio is the Etsy competition divided by the number of searches. So for every single person who has that keyword, how many people are searching for it? And the lower the ratio, the better. Like this one, bluey ornament, great ratio. But the reason guys, it's because it's copyright and they're probably being taken down. Again, don't do copyrighted options, but we have the ones like ultrasound ornament, golden doodle ornament, pickleball ornament are all great options with great ratios of search to competition. So looking at this data, I have tons of new ideas to work from, but one that really stuck out to me again was the dog breeds because I can make a bunch of ornaments that are similar, but I can just use different keywords for a bunch of these listings. So let's go make one together. So if you've been following me for a while, you probably noticed that I've been using Kittle a lot because I love their templates and mostly their text effects and they're constantly evolving. So Kittle has become my most popular design platform right now. So we're actually going to try to create this starting from a Kittle template. So you can either look up ornament or whatever product you're planning to sell and see if you find any you like, or because I know I'm doing dog breeds, I'm just going to type in dog. And for Kittle, you don't need to start with a template. A lot of the times I don't, but usually I'll start my research by seeing if there's anything I want to start with by looking up dog. Right off the bat, I do like this Dalmatian one here. I don't know though that it fits on an ornament, maybe more a tote bag, um, but Probably not one I would pick for this design, but one that did catch my eye to start from is this golden right here. We're not gonna be making a golden retriever one. We can, but it wasn't in the keywords we picked out, but we can still list it. I'm always big on testing things anyway, but we're gonna click into this one and start making different variations and making this design our own. So first off, I'm just going to remove some of these. I don't really like these two pieces, but I do like this thing here. And one thing for ornaments, if you do research for ornaments on what is actually selling, customization is huge for ornaments. Majority of the best selling ornaments are going to have some type of customization on them. And so for a dog, it kind of just makes sense that they can add their dog's name to an ornament. So I've created two different options here. I've made them a little bit more circular because I know for an ornament, they are circular designs. So I've just kind of changed this up and it depends how you would like to have the types of fonts here. But now we want to make different variations for these for some of those keywords that we've seen. The issue is if you actually click on a lot of the templates, you're gonna notice that this is just one photo. We can't actually remove the golden retriever here. So we need to make new variations of that. And this is where a new tool on Kittle comes in handy, which is called, if you right click here, the button that says save as image gen style. So I'm going to select this and now I'm just gonna duplicate this page actually. So you can do that by holding option on your keyboard and then dragging this out. There we go. And now I'm going to make a dash hound version because those are one of the keywords that we saw. So because we did the image gen save, when I come into the AI image generator, we now have that art as a reference point. So I'm going to type in a brand new prompt, but I'm actually gonna try this one to see what happens if I try to put Christmas flowers, if it'll change it. But I put dash hound puppy surrounded in Christmas flowers and make sure I'm referencing this piece of art 
and then we're gonna hit generate image. So I did have to play with the prompt a little. I did try the Christmas colors. Didn't really like the way that it was spitting this out. And the prompt it ended up with actually was cute dash on puppy and flowers vector. And then I redid that for all of the breeds that I wanted to make a different variation of this for. And now in minutes, I have a bunch of different listings that I can list that are going to appeal to different groups of people. And these people are the ones who own these specific dog breeds. And because these are customized, a lot of people don't wanna do the work of having to re-add in customization every single time they get an order. So there is an app to help you with this called Hello Custom. The text options that we had done on Kittle probably aren't going to be available, but if you wanted to have a simpler text of the name below, like that second variation of the Golden Retriever one, then you can automate your whole workflow using Hello Custom. If you're interested in giving it a try, I do have a link in my description for a lifetime offer of $67 versus before this was $29 a month. So it really, if this is something you're gonna use, it's really going to pay off to just buy it now and get lifetime offer for this. But here is where I get a little controversial with these. If you look on Etsy, every single person in every video out there usually recommends the ceramic ornament. It is the cheapest out there, but I sold it last year and it ended up completely removing it from my store. I got samples of these and they were extremely blurry and I was hoping it was just my sample. So I foolishly still listed it in my store and ended up getting a lot of negative reviews because the prints on all the ceramic ornaments, especially this one here, the one from Imagine Your Photos does not come out crisp at all. So the one that was actually making me all of my good reviews, and it is more expensive, but it looks like better quality and has only gotten me five stars is actually the one below here, which is the glass ornament. And in USD with Printify Premium, this is 1092 plus quite a bit of shipping, but there's also the other option of the acrylic ornaments, which are cheaper, also printed by printed mint, and they do have really good reviews. Personally, I just find the glass ones look so much better and might be more appealing. And for those looking for a cheap ornament, offering the more high quality, expensive ornament. And this is usually something that people are gonna keep with them forever. So people are willing to spend a little bit more on these. So for me, I do just sell the glass ornaments now. And again, they have done wonderfully for me. And for people who haven't used Printify before, Printify is a print on demand supplier. So what happens is when you get an order, Printify is going to print and ship that order for you. So you don't have to have any inventory. You don't have to worry about any shipping, which allows me to travel and maintain my store. And I know a lot of you will have issues coming up with keywords for these because now again, we are creating 10 different listings here with different dog breeds. How are you going to create the SEO for all of these? And that's another reason having E-Rank is very helpful. What you can do on E-Rank is search up your main keyword, Yorkie ornament. We already know that it has a great amount of search to competition ratio. And if we actually click into this keyword here, a tool that I like to use is taking a look at the SERP, the search engines result page analysis. And scrolling down here, we can see things like average price these are selling for, which is pretty good. But the thing that I really like to take a look at is the most popular tags. And these are other tags people are searching that are similar to Yorkie ornament that you can use in your titles and tags. So things like Yorkie ornament, custom pet ornament, custom dog ornament, Yorkshire Terrier. And you can look through these and find ones that are relevant to what you're selling because these also have a lot of search behind them. And you can use these to help you rank higher on Etsy by including it again on your titles and in your tags. So if you plan to sell ornaments, I really hope this video helps you out in learning how to do the research, how to create a bunch of different listings, how to not get a bunch of bad reviews with the ceramic ones. And I hope you kill it this Q4 with your Etsy store. Thank you guys and I'll see you next week.